All right, back to recording. Hello, guys. This is Mowgli. I am doing Minecraft right now. I'm in the process of building my very elaborate uh, building. No problem. Uh, where I will be making hey, what? Hey, what? Is that your grandmother? No. It's a grandmother. It's not mine. <laughs> Alright. Man, dude, that place looks better than mine. I'm trying to, like, build, like, a huge mansion, but it's gonna take me a while. Like, I gotta start from... I'm trying to do it in survival. Oh, yeah. Try building in, like, survival. Oh, I have already. random tower I'm just deciding to build. I'm gonna call it my own building now. I'm gonna name it something, a, a name of my own, because it's a building that I made. Yeah. Like the Parthenon is a Greek building, and uh -huh. the Elizabeth, Elizabethan building I think is a, a Roman building. Um, I'm gonna name this one my own. Whatever name I decide for it after I finish it is the name I'm going to give it.
And now they're double stackable. Isn't that awesome? That's what they were saying, like it was like one of those hint thing or whatever, like before the game starts. You know like on uh yeah. like on uh, uh Grand Theft Auto 5. They have like little yeah. hints they like tell you and now you can uh you can apply to the the uh, forums at so and so dot com or something like that. You know. Yeah. It is a bit quiet in here.
Now we got some music going. Ellie Golding, Black Mill remix of Your Song.
What in the world? How? Ow!
guitar was nothing more than just me feeling the music. People. But when I feel the music, it displays, it displays in all my actions. Including also the way I walk, talk, breathe. and feel. I feel nothing with music. I don't feel angry. I don't feel mad. I don't feel... Yo. Yeah. So what? You're probably about to go? Yeah. Alright. I can finish it up here. Yeah, man. I got this. Yeah. Are you recording on Skype? 
No. Looks like you are. <laughs> no, no, no. Sky Skype's in the background. It's, I know, it's sitting behind it, dude. No, that's a game capture. <laughs> oh my gosh! I know. I, I, since you noticed, since you said that, and and since you told me, <laughs> it does look like that. I oh know. But anyway, yeah, man, I'm probably gonna have to go. Hey, again, guys, comment, right now, comment, like, and uh, subscribe to him. And subscribe to our channels. Um, just keep going. More game than you. Alright, guys, I gotta go. Alright. Alright man, I'll see you. Have a good one. I'll text you. Alright man, I'll, I'll probably text you later or something. Later? Alright. Alright man. And that was Mo. My... My friend. And... The director of Mo Mowgli Productions. Um, we uh, we sort of divided him up, partially because we all. I have a dream, and I've shared my dream a couple of times. Mo, pretty much, my dream is. Offer people entertainment, of which is unbiased. Many things in this world are pretty biased, but not really exactly biased, because it's always going to be biased. Nothing can be too unbiased, because if not, there's no such thing as being human. swayed by the very society in which they grow up. And society believes that people should act a certain way. Well, let me just say this. Any human should have the freedom and liberty to operate and do what they please and what they desire to do. Many people have been with by the very ideals that our society provides us. Act a certain kind of person. A certain kind. So why? Hinder our ways? It's a good question. 
one, I don't even know the answer. So, if you know the answer, it's very unlikely. Why do we act certain ways? It's a very good question. So, say for instance, you had a video game. I'm playing a video game. I'm a video gamer, right? Well, what if I'm not a video gamer? What if I'm just an average Joe? trying to be a video game and I don't know how to do it think about it it's an idea that is very possible if you actually put into action now sometimes I will play um, Call of Duty Ghosts and you have like people on there complaining and whining and bickering about um, how that stupid camper is just camping. Ooh, I hate that camper. Ooh, I hate that camper. But why do you hate on the heart of the person that's doing the action? Why do you hate on the person and not just the action? That's another question, okay? So, in other words, why do you point the finger and hate on the person rather than what they're doing. If you want to dislike what someone does and say, I hate how people camp, instead of, instead of saying, I hate that camper, get out of their camper. And why do we have all these different things in the first place? Why do we have all these different stereotypes? You know, they might be in-game, or they might be in real life, or they might be in social settings, they might be... They might be at work, they might be... In the playground. They might be, I don't know, just anywhere. Why do we have these different stereotypes? When stereotypes are nothing but things that separate us. Why do we allow such petty words to separate us because we think or we act different than the other person? So like this gamer here is talking about nonsense once again. Why is he always talking about nonsense even though this is his first video in which he will be talking nonsense on? Well, because I'm not a person who talks straight nonsense. Nonsense. And when I mean by crooked nonsense, I don't mean I talk your everyday nonsense. And the neighborhood is going to talk. I speak of things which many people don't put the thought or idea into. Me, I don't, I'm not afraid to do it. I have dubbed myself the task of, of opening up, as a writer, many ways to look at the looking glass. So, how do you look at it? Take this time to figure out how you look at the look. Is it half full? Is it half empty? Is it all the way empty? Or is it all the time full? Now, depending on how you view the looking glass, it's dependent on how your aim will apply and how you'll react to something as something when people encounter you. Now, it's not often very easy to To be uh, an understanding person. If, no, it's actually far from being easy of being an understanding. And 
as much as I try to be a very understanding person about how people are, why people are, when people are, but most importantly, why, or rather who they are. A person is not defined by their mistakes. If you define someone by a simple mistake they make, then you are defining that you can make no mistakes, that you are perfect, and that you have not hurt someone, you have not left anyone, and everything you've done has succeeded 100%, actually more than 100%. Everything you've done, you've, ex you've exceeded and succeeded by plus 1,000 infinite. Now, if you're able to do that, you should be traveling in outer space right now. And you should have at least already made and perfected immortality and whatnot. Have you done that? I don't believe I've met a person alive who has. Now, if you have, then I would love to know your secret in the bottom line below. The only immortality that us humans have is the words in which I am telling you now. These words may not last with worth two seconds at the, at the time being, but sometime down the line, someone, somewhere, some wind is going to look at this video and they're going to say, wow, okay, this is someone from 10 eons ago. Video. And hence, that's how people can outdo the mortal is we have. And that's the only way we've been able to figure it out now. Immortality will not be an answer of science, but an answer of science fiction. We can't attain such things in this lifetime. We'll die one day. So we have to leave a legacy for our kid. We have to leave a legacy in our words about how we thought things are and should be for our kids to look back. The ones who will grow up in the society that is better. Right now our society is a bit ravaged by war still, even about 60 to 70 years after um, World War One and World War II. And, also, the Vietnam War, and a few others. Now, it's not easy growing up in a war, but we have to because we, our, our ancestors, or rather our, our previous generation, to properly function together. We, as this as this generation's, hopefully change that around. It will not be easy, nor will it be. But hopefully, a cakewalk will be a definition of how the world is and how people are in it. The true definition. I lighten people's hearts, enlighten. Hopefully people will share love with each other instead of hate, discontent, discrimination, sorrow. Now that is a long way off, but I know before God is back, Before he sends his son back, there will at least be a time 
before the world ends. That that will exist. And I can only imagine how... Maybe. Nations working together and loving one another as if it was my family and friend. Any person I meet is a family. So many people are very eager to take advantage of someone. Sad the way the world turns. Many of us. This is Mowgli. Mowgli Center signing off on a vlog. And a video game capture. If you would like to know more about certain. So if you want to know more about an example, how. Like, if you want to look here, I guess, would say my theory, or, I guess, philosophical theory, on certain topics. Some examples would be why people cheat, or why certain video games might be bad for you, or just certain things, like, maybe, um, will it, will it ever be possible? for humans to ever, uh, what's it called, or if you just want to hear me talk about a random topic, such as movies, or, um, talk about music, or play music, or play a certain movie, or something like that, just send me a message on, um, this channel, in the comments below, and I will be... I will do my best to oblige your, um, opinion and your time and effort into what you had put the time to put in the comment below or in a message. So if you want to PM me or not, then that's fine. As always, please keep watching and this is Mowgli. Subscribe.